mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, sorry, I'm walking, so I'm like a little out of air, but uh, um, I'm here in the beautiful city of Hamburg, uh, finally in Germany. I'm gonna be staying here for, I will say, like a week, and then we're going to another beautiful destination that I will tell you later. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be here in Germany. So if you are on the German Beverly troop and you want to say hi, let me know and we can we can work that out, definitely. Okay guys, so it is time to talk about the real housewife of Atlanta. So let's spill some tea because I know that's why you are here. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. If you are new here and you want to join the Beverly Troop, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. And let's talk about this mess. So, now that Real Housewife of Atlanta is finally out, we need to start talking about each one of the storylines. And, uh, girl, that first episode was everything. I mean, it really gave us everything. It feels good, it feels fresh, but it still gave us that sensation that all Atlanta is back, you know? And I feel that that's one of the most important things. You know, I was, I was very afraid for Atlanta. We all know that after Nini Leakes le left, it was hard. Last season was not good, okay? And this season, it really felt so good. It was, it was really good. Now, a lot of people, the first part of the tea, a lot of people were already putting out there like, oh, um, the ratings were not good, you know. Oh, the lowest ratings on Atlanta history. Oh my God, it's going to be so bad. First of all, the ratings were like, uh, I don't wanna run. Wait guys, give me one second. Oh my God, the bus! Everything, here, everyone here is just running and walking all the time. It's so annoying. Okay, I'm inside the bus. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me though, so I'm gonna have to talk like very close here. Um. Anyway, so yeah, so the ratings were good. Uh, first episode, it really reached the one million mark, and yeah, maybe it was low for Atlanta because we used to Atlanta get to the three million mark. But still, let's remember, it's 2022, it's all about the streaming services. So the fact that they hit 1 million, it's still pretty impressive, you know? So, um, that, I mean, I don't, I don't worry about that. I think they actually did very, a very good job. Now, um, moving into T-Wise, we need to talk about Drew Sidora and um, her husband, Ralph. As you know, she is not happy with her husband, okay? Uh, this guy has been so shady since literally the beginning of the show. Okay, I'm gonna go down, give me one second. So, yeah, so from the beginning, um, okay, we know that they have serious trouble, okay? And they have been trying to work through those troubles on their marriage for a very long time. Now, um, Drew Sidora was in an interview um, yesterday with um, US Weekly. And she is basically letting us know that everything that is going on and everything that we're seeing on the show, it's actually 100% real. There was a lot of people after the first episode era basically saying like, oh, you know, this is a fake storyline. Uh, I bet that he's not cheating on her. You know, it's all just for show, blah, blah, blah. But the, um, she came on, on the interview and basically say like, that's literally her life. You know, that's literally the way they behave. And sometimes it's not nice. Sometimes it's not easy you know but that's basically what a marriage is all about 
she says that they are choosing to be real they are choosing to put everything out there and not being fake as many other people many other housewives try to be on different shows and different franchises you know and at the end of the day i do have to say that's very it's a very big thing for them you know putting all your relationship out there for people to judge it's it, it's gonna be hard everyone is gonna try to have some kind of opinion over their relationship now do i feel that they're gonna make it honestly i have no idea however she says that after the whole fiasco with the assistant and she caught the texting um she definitely was ready to divorce this guy she was ready to take the kids left the house which she did you know and just basically go and divorce him because she first of all we had the whole tampa situation and then after the whole tampa fiasco now we have uh text messages with uh his assistant like how dumb is this guy honestly and we all know that drew sidor i mean she could get basically whatever man she wants and it would be very easy for her but she says that they are choosing to stay together they are going to counseling they are going they are trying to work hard to whatever situation it might be happening okay now there, there are rumors already out there that it's basically saying that of course this guy was actually actively cheating with his assistant you know that it was basically more than just like oh i can go and give you a massage uh and but i mean that's just the room you know and we will have to wait to see what is going to happen uh during the rest of the season so one thing that i do have to applaud is drew sidora putting everything out there because that's a level of realness that we don't get too often you know we have all these housewives always trying to pretend that their marriages are perfect that everything is perfect that uh uh, you know that they don't have any trouble and Drew Sidora is basically saying marriage is fucking hard you know marriage is not perfect you don't woke up every single day being like oh my god my life is perfect my husband is perfect everything is perfect no honestly this bitch doesn't shut up okay um, so yeah marriage is not easy you have to work through stuff you know you have high highs and you have low lows and that's how you realize if you are in a good marriage is how you handle certain situations you know and you don't let small things get in the middle i mean look kudos for drusidora to put her real life out there i really applaud her for that because i know it's not an easy decision to do and especially on a reality show where like every single person is going to have an opinion and every single person is going to judge you for her for that but at the end of the day this guy she, he is another walking red flag literally like this is uh, he and and luis relas they can all go to like red flag land because they are so full of red flags um so let's wait let's wait and see what is gonna happen right okay guys so that's literally the tea that i have right now from atlanta so let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you think that they're gonna make it or do you think that that's another divorce uh, on the horizon for housewives let me know and like always don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel guys and i'll see you around yeah bye